look big on Koro or they hear me whine whine. I be say you turn that giriga on top of the chairman television station, Wazubia TV, channel 98 on top of Go TV cable, Star Time channel 195, my TV channel 17, Wazubia Max TV. For those who go talk, say we don't do all of this one, we only do cable. This one too na cable. But we did here for DSTV channel 259. And those who are gonna come and talk say now only antenna we get UHF 57. Just turn your antenna small and the thing go clear. If we check on the calendar, we're going to say today, on a special day, May 27. And every 27th of May, the full world, they gather, they celebrate the future of the world. Which will be the future? The children, now them be the future. So every May 27th, now World Children's Day, commemoration of the reminder, say, children, they're very, very important. We must do everything we do to you, see, say, they live their life better and grow up to contribute to the development of our great country, Nigeria. So if we do our country well today, the children, they will go grow up to become adults tomorrow. They go feel contribute, make our country better. But if we spoil their life and spoil our country, they go grow up and tell us, say, Dad, Mom, when I go to say my voice only change, Dad, Mom, what did you do for your country? The reason why I changed my voice now because of, say, I carry somebody come inside studio, and uh, this one, you know, be picking <laughs> now, child, <laughs> picking and child, difference day. This one, a child, and a child rights advocate. Picking when we say he wake up, talk, say he want to speak for young people. If this speaking begin, they talk here about Brexit, una go shock. If you begin, they talk about Russian collusion for America election, una go shock. If you begin, they talk about the Iran nuclear deal, una go shock. And if you begin, they talk about Nigeria, una go shock. The reason why I carry and come. On top of this special arrangement, when the children's day special for us in the heart, now so that I go let our parents, them, our uncles, our aunties, our brothers, our sisters, and even children, when they watch us in the heart, to know, say, everybody must play their part to see, say, this country move forward. I go change my voice now, speak English, <laughs> so that I'm going to say, <laughs> school fees, level is day. Hi, Baba, welcome to us in the heart. Hi. Good evening. So just Relax and be confident. I know you're very confident, but just feel free and just we're discussing with friends. So today is May the 27th, 2019, and it's the commemoration of Children's Day. A lot of people are particularly excited because children are the future, and we must invest in children so that in turn, they'll take care of their parents and also contribute to nation building and national development. But let me just ask you, when we talk about Children's Day celebration, what does it bring to your mind? It just brings to my mind, well, appreciating children. Like, we finally, we're getting appreciated. Um, well, we're getting used to public holidays because when we're all working, this is how it'll be like. And yeah, generally feeling good being a child. Now, let's talk about the Nigerian child uh, before I emphasize on the girl child. Now, we understand that in Nigeria, there's a lot of pressure on the parents to give their children the very best in life. But the pressure sometimes can be very overwhelming and parents go through a lot. First, as a Nigerian child, what is your experience like as a child in a great country, Nigeria? Um, it's been good because like, I just need to think that I'm having a good time and if I just listen to my parents, everything is gonna be fun and good. Okay, let's talk about child rights in Nigeria and how children can be better appreciated. You know you spoke about appreciation on Children's Day. Let's talk about child rights and how children can be better appreciated. From your understanding, what do you consider child rights to be? Children should get an education, they should have good health care, and they should be treated equally to adults. Mm. Good because education, good health care, treated equally to adults. And also, you wanted to say, because we're also human beings, so we should get, well, the same rights as adults and also freedom of speech. Mm, same rights as adults and also freedom of speech. Now, I'm going to play a short video of a young man doing a lot for children. Now, this video was produced in Ebony State, where he went to a primary school and started this interesting project where he gets books storybooks, textbooks donated from friends and people who care about Nigerian children. He goes to schools and returns these books to these children. But before I play that video to show you that hope and confidence in the Nigerian child, 
and the belief that Nigerian children can be the best that they can be. I would also like you to see, you know, some images of children going through difficulty learning. You know, you spoke about education and the importance of education. So this is why I switched to Pigeon English. You know, it's a Pigeon English show. Our people went there for house. I don't tell my Ogbonga visitor, Baba, say, I go show picture of children when they say the place when then they learn, not be something when they say go give anybody joy. I go like Makuna when they watch now. They understand my pigeon to watch. Those that also understand when I express myself in the English language, I would also like you to watch. And tell me if children of Nigeria are getting the very best just by viewing the image on the screen. That is, when I go tell me whether the children of Nigeria, whether they're the best that they get for education, if we now watch within the on top of Una's screen. So we could I just watch this image. That is John Bethel Ezugo doing a lot for Nigerian children. And like I mentioned earlier, he went to a school, a primary school in Ebony State. And through this project where friends donate textbooks and storybooks, he gives out to children to encourage them to read and also put a smile on their faces. Now, you can see the excitement on the faces of the children. Mm -hmm. And he's also a very interesting uh, music composer and entertainer. He also sings so that the children can have fun and enjoy themselves. Now, what I'll do is try to put a call through to John Bethel Ezugo. I'll go try to call John Bethel Ezugo for phone and make we follow talk. As he takes aside this plenty work when we say in they do. But now, let me ask you about the images that you have seen you would notice that there were so many children on the assembly ground, and it would seem like, you know, he has a hard time handing out these books to the children. Now, let's view this um, footage so you have a proper understanding of my explanation. Yeah! We are live at the Book and Music Festival, the very first outreach. So we are in a Evangel Nursery and Primary School, and we're about to engage the children at the festival. We'll play music for them. There's Pamela here. There is Blessing Apang from Akwaibon. Uh, we're going to play music for them, read stories for them. So join me, let's go. <laughs> So that is John Bethel Ezugo doing a lot. And that's just one person trying to reach out to the future of Nigeria, the Nigerian children, and try to see how he can, you know, improve um, whatever they do, talking about reading and understanding. But let me ask, what, in your opinion, is the emphasis that must be placed by the Ministry of Education and the various states' Ministry of Education on reading and comprehension for children who go to schools? I think it would help that the government be providing more textbooks. They should be, they should give more funding for education so that they can help invest in the future because a lot of people like to complain, oh, the country isn't good, oh, the economy is bad, this. They shouldn't want that to happen to their kids. So the government themselves should help by giving textbooks and, well, investing hmm. a lot in education. Investing a lot in education. Let's talk so about the number of out-of-school children. It's really heartbreaking, the number of out-of-school children in Nigeria. People have said from around 10.1 million to 13.2 million. There are certain countries in the world that do not even have up to 10 million people. Talk more of 13 million people. But we have an army of out-of-school children. Children who should get an education are out of school, you know, begging for arms. Um, they're vulnerable because you have insurgents, kidnappers, armed robbers trying to recruit these young people and young waste people. their lives. In your opinion, what do you think the government can do for children who perhaps have no parents, and no fault of theirs, maybe because of insurgency or 
any unfortunate situation, what do you think the government can do for children to see that they give them the very best in life and ensure that they are protected from those who want to lead them astray? In the orphanage or wherever they are, there should be education. They should have separate teachers entirely for motherless home so that even though they're, they won't be, they'll be away from their parents, they can still learn and when they're older they won't get recruited into any insurgent group. Now, let me ask you, you know a lot of children feel some type of way about anything that is related to government and governance and it's no fault of theirs because not many people are aware and not many of them have an understanding. For the average Nigerian child, it's probably just have you know, the knowledge of who is the president of Nigeria in case there is a quiz competition. Who is the vice president of Nigeria? How many states are there in Nigeria? What is the federal capital territory of Nigeria? What is the capital of the state in which you reside in? What is the name of your school? But, you know, you're young and you consider yourself somebody who should speak up for Nigerian children. And you're doing a great job, by the way, Thank expressing you. yourself, you know, addressing all these issues. And this is not trying to flatter you. Perhaps a lot of adults would not be interested in anything. Maybe they, because they're disillusioned and tired about what is going on in the country. How do you think young people or children can be encouraged to have this sense of belonging and maybe want to take part in governance? Because if you go about the population size of Nigerian children, you lot are in a vast majority. So how can children be encouraged to take part, have an interest in reading, understanding, maybe everything about politics and current affairs? Everyone wants to be successful, right? Children should think about that. They can help their country as a whole be successful if they end up in government. They can decide what happens, for better or worse. Because, as I said before, lots of people complain about the state of the country right now. Parents themselves should also encourage kids so that they can fix the country to help the country as a whole so that it won't continue this way, so that Nigeria will prosper and become the best nation in the world. Now, parents should help parents. Hopefully. Every May the 27th, we celebrate the Nigerian child. And in all honesty, we're supposed to celebrate the Nigerian child every day, not just on the 27th of May, where children don't get to go to school, some wear, you know, beautiful outfits and go to the parks, you know, go to fun spots and have fun with their family members, or parents spend some quality time with their children. I would like you to emphasize on the importance of parents always spending time, quality time, precious time with their children, not just on the 27th of May. A lot of statistics say that a lot of children who don't spend like that much time with their parents, they end up feeling down and neglected and are more likely to join terrorist groups because they don't have any figures to look up to. While some parents say that, oh, they should be independent this, they should be independent that, that doesn't mean that they should completely abandon them, com like leave them alone all the time. They should still help mold them into a good person so that they don't end up self-harming or doing something really bad because they didn't have anyone to look up to or see. Mm, so we should have model parents, model youths, and even model children, for example, you're one. And I'm very certain that when parents watch Aside Hot, the Children's Day special, and see Baba on set, they would say, wow, Junior, you can be like Baba. Jennifer, you can be like Baba. Or Temitayo, you can be like Baba. Just study more. Try as much as you can to place more interest in your books, and you're going to become very great. Now, let me ask you a very important question. Now, on the screen, I'm going to show a footage, no, a video. Now, this, these are children. What you have on your screen? These are children learning in very difficult situation. And these are Nigerian children. Now, look at, look at, the, look at the roof of the school. I mean, look at the structure, dilapidated. And it is clear that children will not get the very best. That's, you know, a flooded school. Children will not get the very best of education in you know such a situation what do you think the school authority parents and also the government can do 
to improve on infrastructure, number one, and most importantly, the quality of education that the children get. I think that, well, we also need more spending for infrastructure mm. to help build more schools. So, that so more funds more should be space. voted for the construction of new schools. Yes, so that there will be more places for kids to learn and it won't be so cramped. And they should also build schools in like good places and in places that they know are safe and secure so that if there's like lots of rain, the schools won't get flooded. Parents can help by like sending their kids to a, a good school. They themselves should try help the school itself. Mm. And if they can, well, they should try and teach the child at home or find other alternatives. Fair enough, because the children spend more time at home with the parents. What's the earliest that you get to school? 8 a.m.? 7.30. 7.30, and you leave by? 2 o'clock. 2 o'clock. So from 2 till 7.30 in the evening, you're at home with your parents, then over the night. So parents, parents spend more time with their children and should do a whole lot more. And like you have said, if we all try as much as we can to see development as a collective effort, rather than complain about the problems, we try to solve the problems, we're going to find lasting solutions. I particularly like your suggestion and the emphasis on spending more funds so that we can construct. This is not voting funds so that people can pocket these funds so that we can construct. Now let's talk about legislation, how we can make laws that would guarantee and protect the rights of children. Most often, a lot of our laws, you know, do not um, protect the Nigerian child. There are laws that protect the Nigerian child, but a lot of these laws um, should be promulgated so that you can have more children enjoy the protection. Before I connect with John Bethel Ezugo, the young man on the screen who was singing to the school children, I would like you to talk about some of our laws and what we must do to protect the rights of children. We can help protecting children by well, having longer sentences for people who attack children or abuse mm. them. And the most called, if they're longer sentences, people would try and avoid doing it more because then they won't go to jail if they don't do it. Mm. And another thing that would help is that any kind of bill or infrastructure package it should have a clause that like says, children can work, children should be protected because, hmm. as I said before, children should have equal rights to an adult. If it's like that, then it would basically be an adult attacking another adult, except that adult is a child, so hmm. that, that would be... You know. Thank you very much, Baba. Very important legislation to ensure that the rights of children are protected and also guaranteed. Now, I'm now joined by John Bethel Ezugo. John Bethel Ezugo, welcome to Acidi Hot. Thank you very much. John Bethel, Thank this is a pidgin English program. The reason why I've been there speak uh, English now because of Baba when they here with me. And I know I <laughs> use my own uh, pidgin, uh, put some sound for the galley of your own English language. But me and you go speak pidgin. Now, we don't play the oh. video for the screen when you go Evangel Primary School. Uh, I go like ask you, what did the experience be like? And what did you feel for your heart when you enter this school? Come give these children them these books. How your ballet takes with you? Mm. You know, say that school, Evangel Primary School. Yes. That's school where I go when I be small, when I did primary school. Oh, nice. And wait, yeah, what happened when I was small? You say some coppers come our school. And they carry music, they carry piano come, they come sing for us. Mm. Now that experience will really actually inspire me to become a musician. Mm. So I, I felt it's a responsibility for me as the same way that I to inspire. I owe it to other people, I owe it to the younger ones to also inspire them with my music and my art. Mm. And I realized uh, these days, children don't read. They can't even wait to grow up to start using social media and mm. Instagramming and WhatsApping. You know, they are no longer even really interested in acquiring knowledge. So the little thing where I feel you now to use my music, my art, to motivate them, to inspire them to be the best they can be. 
Hmm. Yeah, Jobetta, yeah, make yeah, I ask yeah. how um, people, when they're interested in this kind of arrangement, uh, go fit, you know, reach out and support. Because what do you they do now to carry books, go give them to encourage them so that they will feel it. But before I ask that one, make I ask you how the team be, how you they get these books, and how the experience don't be so far. Okay. You know, say, for this country, uh, you know, easy for anybody. Hmm. I, if I come to down the reason, how do they do this? How do they get money to buy books? You hmm. see, you know, I don't go get leave at even one do them again. So hmm. when thing I come to now, everybody where I know, all my friends, all the people where I know and where know me, I tell them, say, pay them to make one book for one child. Hmm. So now, what I don't do since this year? So as I gathered over 200 books since I started hmm. from my friends, my family, where we share people that share the same dreams and visions. And we don't make so better. These 200 books now in like how many months? Okay, like five months. Oh, five months, 200 books. Yeah. And the and books now, maybe science, text, um, or arts. What in the end? I just story books. Art, story books, creative books, drawing books, uh, colors, crayons, mm. you know? Because there are so many assets that are waiting for just a spark. True. Make their begin draw, make their begin do it in God bless them. Mm. Even okay. tomorrow, we will okay. share books. Okay, so John Better. Okay, you said tomorrow now we'll share books. Yeah. For we which place be that one exactly? Uh, for Enugu, we'll go share them for Queen's Models Primary, Nursery and Secondary School for Enugu. Okay, Queen's Model Primary, yeah. Nursery, Primary and Secondary School for Enugu. Yeah. Make Today I ask, we'll share uh, for people when we say one support or one contribute book, for example, ah, this thing mm. I'm good, you know, with the help Nigerian children to read, oh, how them go take mm. fit, contribute this book, so? Okay. Uh, people, uh, now to just contact, contact us. Call our call our phone anywhere where you did. You go pick up picker, or you feel we belong to our office for a boy. Okay, they feel we belong to our office for inside for a boy state. Yes. Uh, you know, say this na television we there, and okay. they know they they know they call number anyhow. But because of um, say exception day to day, and the work where you they do now work where we say it go improve plenty of people life. I go just like mm. make you give out. The phone number, you will call the number twice. And you go also okay. give the place where we say that people will build these books too. Because now the future of Nigerian children, now they try secure. So, mm -hmm. so just give us mm -hmm. the number. Okay. The number where you see call, you want to donate book or support us. Mm -hmm. 0816. 0816. 470. 470-5910. Make I make confirm the number. 0816 uh -huh. 470 uh -huh. 5910. Yes. Okay, waiting me on office address for a boy. Okay. For a boy, now 20 Ezra Road. Okay, Bakaliki. 20 Ezra Road. Abakaliki. Okay, 20 Ezra Road, Abakaliki. Once they just yes. enter any transport company, they will just pack the book, give them, say, 20 Ezra Road, Abakaliki, Abakaliki, and they will call this number. Uh -huh. If they add the number, add the address. Uh, oh. they go, they go get on. Okay, John Better, let's go. Thank you very much for this plenty work when we say you they do. We appreciate our prayer and I say, may God continue to give you the ginger to they do more. God bless you, brother. Amen. Uh, amen. Uh, thank you very much. Now, um, Baba, you had that conversation mm -hmm. and you see what somebody who is not the president, a senator, a honorable member of the House of Representatives, a governor, or any public official is doing to see how he can improve the lives of, you know, Nigerian children. Um, how encouraging do you think this action is? And if you would advise people who are friends with him or who have like minds to key into this idea, what would you tell them? First, let's start with how encouraging. How do you feel as a young, um, young child or a child rights advocate, and you see somebody doing this great. It makes me feel that you don't have to be in government or in a position of power to do something good or affect what happens in your community. You have the power in your hands, and you can go and help them do it. Mm. Instead of just complaining about the issues of the country, we can help fix them as people. Hey, we don't let have me, to be let me, let me speak. 
Baba, let me speak PG. Hey, God, oh, oh God. Do you understand me when I express myself in PG? Sometimes. Sometimes. So when I say God, oh, God, oh, I'm calling on God. Because the manner with which you answer the questions, they are spot on. I beg, Nigerian papa, Nigerian mama, I take God beg una. Una see Baba we sit down here. Yo, are you 10 yet? I'm 11. 11 years old, Baba we sit down here. They talk about picking them. Una hear as the boy talk, say, you don't need the government to feel effect change. We don't they complain since, hey, government, hey, government, hey, government. Now we to be government. If we vote in right people, right people go enter. If we support government, government go do well. Hey, oh, Baba. I, my, my son, I will name my son Baba. To enjoy more of this, our will go get videos when you just watch. Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.